Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we have a problem. Don't run. I can't seem to hit him with anything. And I'm a mistake. You just ignore the glowing white ball over here. Come here, little bunny. I already wasted one of my dream fluffs by uh, throwing myself into a goddamn meat grinder. Sorry. I need to get some fucking distance between us. I can't burn him! Oh! Why is this not working? And he's, it says he's confused and he's not actually doing anything. I need to get him to fall in there, I guess, but... Nothing I have can do that! Hmm. Agent Cruller, do you have any advice on the current situation? Next time his cleaver gets stuck in the ground, run up his arm and punch him in his fat head. His cleaver never gets stuck in the ground. But thank you for that. Need your analysis on a hostel. What kind? A giant dad. Oh. Well, see, that why wasn't there earlier? I'd already killed one of them at that point. Hellish bunny spewed forth from meat grinders? Ring a bell? At this point, I just say beat the heck out of him. Something like that shouldn't even exist. <laughs> How do I kill that armless guy with the swords in his mouth? Hi, youth. I remember the first time I asked that very question. You can't kill something like that, but you might be able to use his weapons to your own advantage. Once his swords go into the wall, I'll bet you could swing on them in that way you do so well. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> youth. Uh, there are a lot of weird enemies in this game. What was the very first one I asked about? The bears. Oh, that's right, because I found the bears, but I didn't fight them until after I went here. Have you ever seen a plant with eyes and teeth? Oh, yeah. The kind that's impervious to attack when it's curled up? Hate those. You gotta walk up just close enough to wake them up, and then... Saw blast them, real quick. You've been very helpful. That's all I need. Good luck. <laughs> Get in there! What? No! Oh fuck, it is not a big window! Please, Mr. Bun. I'm over here! What? It didn't do anything to him! You say punch him in the face, right? I mean... What happens if I use the smelling salts? I just wake up as a brain, I guess. Uh... Agent Cruller, do you have any advice on the current situation? Next time his cleaver gets stuck in the ground, run up his arm and punch him in his fat head! Nothing more to report at this time. Cruller out! Thanks, Ford! And thanks, Mia, for teaching me how to do this. I'm gonna hurt you. Jeez, that's a damaging attack.
Oh, that's not weird at all. Up here! Come here, buddy. Piss! Bunny. Do it. Uh, oh, the rabbit skulls are a nice touch. See, I didn't mean to do that in midair this time. That looked really good. Didn't do that on purpose. But, uh... I don't know. That was gonna be the one. Or else Daddy's gonna kill ya. Come here, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Confirmed, not invincible. I can do this. You're going down, big guy. I like to think, however, that I am getting better at dodging, so, you know, my health is, uh, able to keep re, uh, generating. You still have 11 lives left, I am just saying. Can't go back and get any more dream fluffs now, not without a body. Fuck. The hell was that? He has an invisible wall between his legs. I just couldn't go until he turned around. Nope. You don't get to kick me. Let's see a rabbit give you this much trouble. Fuck! That would have been way better if I punched him after saying that. Surprised that one didn't hit me. Bunny, bunny, bunny. <laughs> Fuck. Oopsie. But that's a lie. You've been hurting me this entire time. That's demonstrably false. Well, that worked too. Come on, Oleander. That is your real name. You turned your son into a world conquering psychopath, you awful, dead piece of shit. No! Oh, 
Right, that. I just discovered that, didn't I? I wonder if it's something to do with the camera centering on him so I can't walk away? Or, I don't know. Really got to get in there. Come here, little bunny. Don't hurt me. Get dumbass. Damn. Fourth time I've gotten there just as he's gotten free. All right, now to the choppy thing. Now you run up and try to kick me and fail. Ooh. Because he actually kicked me that time because of, uh... The fucking camera angle. I don't like when the camera... Just focuses on a spot like this. Fuck. Thought he was gonna go with the choppy one before the uh, the one where he gets stuck. God damn it. No, get in there. I thought that was my head for a moment. What the fuck? What's going on here? What have you done to our circus? Dad! Polluted. Perverted. This looks like the work of mentalists. Oh no. I can explain. Have you been associating with psychics? Dad, I... Psychics. Fortune tellers. They killed your grandfather. They cursed our entire family to die in water. Yes, but... Including you, Rasputin. And me. But I'm going to live. You know why? Because I'm still an acrobat. Let's see if you are. Oh, good. Now I have to fight my own father issues. Be, son. Die in the water? Or show me what you got! Great. Oh, oh no! Don't drown. Oh boy, I'm really glad I didn't actually say that thought I had about how the meat circus didn't turn out to be all that bad. Okay, it seems like Raz's father was insane and he was right to run away from the circus. Jeez. When I get a moment. He's gonna throw them right through the fence, isn't he? Ah! Oh. 
Nice timing. Yeah, it is really rising. Okay, just making sure. That wasn't a graphical thing. Oh. And it doesn't go back down! Get up. Not a great idea. Look, Mr. Ghost, I would be glad to deal with you when I am not in danger of dying to a curse. Hey. Ow. No! I'm doomed. Oh! I guess it does move back down a bit. Damn it. And the next one is two jumps and a dot jump. I don't remember the fourth one. What the hell? Why wouldn't you double jump? Come on, Raz! That's a good line. Uh, this is difficult enough when you're obeying all my button presses! Honestly, I was expecting him to throw one of those at me in between each of these gaps. So, you know, it technically could be worse. Technically. Okay, I'm on the stake. Why am I on the stake? That was not there a second ago. Really? There you go. No, no. That's not going to work. Okay, thank God. What am I not seeing here? No, I don't jump onto that. Oh! I didn't realize it because it was so abstract. Little bubbles of meat. Thanks, Dad. Really appreciate it. No! Now I know I can do this. And less time reading those comic books. <laughs> How dare you denigrate comic books? <laughs> and the Psychonauts are not mentalists, they're real! Ah! My organs. Okay, real talk. Thank you for regeneration. Up, up, and away! Why is there a harpsichord on the wall? I don't know. This isn't even organ music. Oh no, the timer! Have I really been fighting the dad for that long? Uh, 
Oh, the problem is because you can only jump when Raz is in a certain position in the swing, so I can't just mash A and instantly go when it's not there. You see? You see? Ah. Uh. That wasn't pretty good at all, though. Okay, higher this time. Nope, don't care. I can do this. Oh, what? Oh, it's a ladder that bends down. Okay, I'll just call it there then, and we will pick up next time. We will keep going as long as we need to in order to save Raz and save the world. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Psychonauts when we, uh, finish things here, and, uh... Boy, I'm really proud of that. 50 out of 50 emotional bag. Ahem! <laughs> uh, I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later!